Welcome back again. I'm yet in another question. What is meant by the term the probation period? What is the probation period? That is the period that you are going to serve that sponsor or that company that recruited you from wherever it recruited you as a means or as a way to showcase or demonstrate what you call your skills and ability. To some people that have got so opportunity, during the probation period, you've got what you call on-company training, uh, on-site training, machine training. Yes, that's where they're going to prove, you are going to prove your ability and skills that to that employer, that you are willing to work and you are physically, you are fit enough to perform the tasks. This is going to show a lot of things for those people that have been in this period for the six months or depending on which kind of company you are working and depending on which kind of contract. This period will require your resilience, perseverance, and control of what you call your ego. Because you find a lot of challenges between this period. Either you're overworked in any way or you're given more working time, depending. So in this period, you are going to demonstrate your ability and skills to work. Yes. How long is the probation period? That is something that definitely also we need to understand. How long is the probation period? The probation period will depend. Will depend on the type of the contract. Literally, not only the type of the contract, it's also going to depend on which kind of company you are working for. Most of the times you find most companies have the probation period, the minimum probation period being three months. But most Gulf countries you find the probation period is up to six months. So meaning that you have to make sure you prove out the skills and ability to that employer or to that sponsor in the six months period. Remember, it is the same period where you are also going to do what you call your medical fitness test to show if you're mentally or healthcare fit to do the particular task or even to live in that country. We call it the medical fitness test. Take the fingerprints and the rest of it all. However, to something that also I need to remind you, this may differ according to different professionals. If you see security guard, you have a different probation period. If you may be a cleaner, depending on the company, you may have a different probation period. If you are working as a domestic worker, you are working as a caretaker in that house. You are working as a house driver in that house. It may be a different probation period for you. Like, for example, when you talk about Qatar itself, the probation period for a domestic worker is nine months, which is far different from the probation period that is being served by other professions that have six months probation period. Sure, for some professions, we may think that for professional jobs, you may find that that probation period is three months, which should be the minimum. So you find all those have to be considered in any way or the other. So as you sign that contract, still also note what is my probation period. This is going to help you to know how better you need to take yourself, take care of yourself, treat yourself to make sure that you can really make this sponsor know that you have the ability and he or she recruited that person that is willing to work and able body to work in that particular task. Hope I've tried to have something for you. Thank you so much, always. You know, thank you so much for all this. Always giving you the best updates, and I will continue giving you this update. Let us try to share this information. It's quite very important in any way. It's quite very important to anyone that is coming in the country, especially in this calf country. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's mixed from the next.